Even with 15 years of experience under his belt, veteran chimp videographer Bill Wallauer still has trouble tracking down Gombe National Park's famous residents. Following chimps is very, very difficult. We're on the Rift Valley, so you know, within two miles, the elevation goes from 2,500 feet to 5,000 feet, so it's very, very steep, very cliffy, very rocky. Today, he's trying to find Gaia, who strayed from the group several days ago after her new baby died. First, he talks to Karoli, the tracker who saw her last. So one of the biggest challenges here is actually finding the chimps, and uh, it, it's a really thick, steep kind of terrain here, and they disappear, uh, they just vanish. Most female chimps choose to stay in the same general area where they were born. They also have certain food preferences. More clues for Bill. So this is the chimps' food of choice this time of year. This is called um, Budian Kende. And it's quite a sweet um, tasting fruit. The chimps stuff loads of this into their mouth and watch big balls of fruit up and suck on that for a couple minutes. And then you'll see these, you know, if you're looking for chimps and want signs of chimps, you'll see these kind of balls of seeds. But right now, um, we need to find places where there's a lot of this fruit so that we can find chimps. Bill also keeps his ears tuned for any telltale signs of chimp activity. So one of the ways you find chimps is you hear falling fruit. And this is an oil palm kernel and a very favorite food for chimps. And it looks like I found gremlin. But still, no Gaia. Finally, after a full day of searching, Bill and Jane Goodall get a new lead. Someone has spotted Gaia high on the ridge with some other chimps. They rush over to find her. Is that Gaia? It's Gaia. As they watch, Gaia comes down from the tree, as if to greet Jane. So many times. I bump into this family. Sometimes if I'm out on my own, they're just there. <laughs> well, yes, they do know me. 